got nothing written down, so I'm going to wing it. <laughs> Some of you folks might uh, wonder how this all got started. And uh, I've known Peggy Lee all my life, and we've always played some of her music and when we played for dances and so forth. But during COVID, not much was happening. I was taking a walk here in Valley City. I was a walker. I was good for it. I sprained my right side of my foot. But anyway, I was walking, and I ran into the mayor, Dave Carlsrud. And I said, Dave, you know, Peggy Lee got her start here in Valley City. Don't you think Valley City should do something to honor that event? And he looked at me and he said, yeah, that's a good idea, man. Matter of fact, I said, he, he said, I love Peggy Lee too. I grew up listening to her music. Then he pointed the finger at me and said, but somebody's got to get it started. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the Chamber of Commerce and to other people here in Valley City. And everybody was very cooperative, very agreeable to do something and then I walked past this thing and I went to Bill and I gave him the idea I kind of turned my head and he was gone he was out the back door taking a picture of this and he came back after a while <laughs> and he said it's going to work we can make a mural here because it's uh, you can observe it from the main parking lot across the street and from central so that's how this mural came to be I think musical history was made here in Valley City in 1936 when Peggy Lee at the tender age of 13, 16 got a singing job on KOVC. Bob Inkstead Sr. at the time was the owner of the radio station. And that must have planted the seed in Peggy's mind that I think I can make it as a singing. I'm going to Hollywood. I'm going to be a singing star. So. That's the end of my story. I'm concentrating my mind right now on what to say to tonight. So I'm, going to turn, I'm going to turn the mic over to Holly. Well, hi, I'm Holly, and I have, I have to say I'm so thankful to everybody here. I'm very grateful to be here. My grandmother would be blown away to see to see this on the side of the building where she first sang professionally on the radio. And thank you for doing such a gorgeous job. Thank you for spearheading it. Thank you for, for to the Bridges Council, the mayor, all of you. I am so overwhelmed. Being here in North Dakota, we have had the most incredible welcome, starting in Fargo and then in Wimbledon and then in Jamestown. We even went to Nortonville today and <laughs> saw the, the roots of where my grandmother lived as a child and now here in Valley City and what a thrill it is to, to show it to my husband and my son. They hear me talk about Peggy Lee all the time, but it really puts her legacy and her life in perspective when you see where she came from. She was so proud of her North Dakota roots. She was always talking about, you know, back in Jamestown, back in Wimbledon, Valley City. She never forgot about Ken Kennedy giving her her name and, and you know, getting her start with the Inksteads here on the KOVC. So I know I'm rambling, but it's just a lot of gratitude to you all. I hear this word and I keep thinking, is that my grandmother saying, hey, <laughs> I'm right here. Her little, uh, oh, they used to call her the canary. And that's not a canary, but, you know, hello. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so we're getting the moment where we're going to do the official dedication. Before that, though, I... Um, the politicians say something, too. Before that... Um, we have it ordered. It will be permanent, not a piece of paper. Um, this will be part of the mural. This is acknowledging our artist, but also the sponsors, and I will read you the sponsors in a minute, because without that generous support, this would have never happened. And there's actually a QR code going to be on the plaque if you put your phone on that. It goes to the YouTube video, and it shows in... Um, uh, the, the, the little movie showing the progress of the mural being painted. So, without further ado, thank you to the sponsors. And I know that we have representatives of some of the people that sponsored this here. So if you see them, say thank you. Bank Forward of Valley City, um, George Gockler, Dakota Bank of Valley City, IG, I, um, I3G Media, which is 
um, KOVC, which was in this building a um, long time ago. Midland Continental Depot Transportation Museum in Wimbledon. Um, they have the collection of Peggy Lee, the Lions Club of Valley City, Concept Dancer Street, particularly Dr. By Brian Bulick, and then Back Communications. And so these are the people that helped us make this possible. And um, we got a big set of scissors, so um, the three of you, please do the honor. And when the ribbon is cut, it's all official, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, get your pick your photos ready. One, two, three. Do we need to do a repeat or you got it? Yes. <laughs> One more. One more. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Slow motion. All right. And of course we picked pink ribbon because that was her favorite color. Uh, before you all leave, please join us tonight at 7 p.m. at the new um, Center for Arts at v Valley City State University, which is in that direction. We have a Peggy Lee concert with an ice cream social afterwards. Um, it's a free um, concert, but we encourage you to bring foods to be donated to the food bank. And we will have a raffle again this year. Um, so please join us. Uh, Myron and his band will be playing, and they're fantastic. So that's it, folks. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.